way. Some of you not are thinking like you mean it. In another one, cry out, we pray. We pray in a night and we pray in a day. And every time we go for me, we never run away. We just doing the chorus, hallelujah. I know what? Cry out, we pray. We pray in a night. Come on, somebody pray. Devil of the runway. Come on. Devil of the runway. Some of you now run him. Devil of the runway. Come on, come on, come on. Devil of the runway. Give the Lord a praise. Come on, clap your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise them. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Having a little technical in this here. I don't know if I don't have enough kids or what, but that's all right. We're going to praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to turn your Bibles quickly. Praise God. To Romans 10:17. Romans 10, 17. Romans 10 and verse 17. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let us stand for the reading of God's holy word. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Word is coming for somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. If you have Romans 10 and verse 17, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many are you excited? How many are you excited about the word? Praise God. Hallelujah. Let us all read. So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. How many of you want to raise your hands? How many of you want to raise your hands? Come on, just put down. Just, just keep your Bibles marked and just raise your hands and just give God praise hallelujah come on I just don't know why but I don't like to try to preach first unless I give God honor glory and praise hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus praise the Lord come on can somebody raise your hands come on come on let's open our mouth and praise him something good is about to happen here tonight Oh, hallelujah. Come on, something good is about to happen. Hallelujah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Something good is about to happen. If you came to church to praise God, why don't you take a praise break? Why don't you take a praise break and open your mouth and begin to praise the Lord? Come on, somebody, why don't you take a praise break and just give God honor, glory, and praise. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody turn shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, you know, I started on a series talking about faith. Praise God. And I just feel like the Holy Spirit is saying, I've gotten good comments and remarks and people have been blessed. Praise God by that word. Praise God. How many of you know that um, if we ever need faith, we need it now? Come on. I said if we ever needed faith, just again, we need it now. Praise the Lord. That's what I'm talking about. We need it now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And so I just want you to know, praise God, uh, that the word of God says in Matthew 4, 4, man shall not live. Come on, I need to hear you. Man shall not live by 
but by every that proceed from the mouth of God. Give the Lord a clap in here. Give the Lord a clap. Praise the Lord. So we are encouraged, we are reminded uh, that we must not be moved by what we see or how we feel. Amen. We must have faith. Amen. We must take God at his word. Come on somebody. I said we must take God at his word. You're going to pass your exams. And you're going to pass with flying colors. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You're going to succeed. Come on. How many of you here with me right now? You're going to, you're going to make it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You've got to tell yourself from now that I'm not going to be a failure. Come on, somebody. I am not going to be a failure. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. How many are you ready for the word now? Come on. How many are you ready for the word now? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Psalms 45 in verse, verses 1. I got that this evening. It dropped in my spirit. And I thought I would bring it to the church. Praise the Lord. Psalms 45 verses 1 says, just listen. My heart is indicting. A great, a good, a marvelous, a wonderful, come on, an exciting. Yes, my heart is indicting a good matter. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. Praise God. We're talking about faith. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So your tongue can write your destiny. Somebody need a prayer. Your tongue can write your destiny. As well as your tongue can write your defeat. Oh, some of you not hearing me. I say your tongue can write your destiny. As well as your tongue can write your failure and defeat. Uh, because your tongue is like a pen. Come on, help me somebody. I say your tongue is like a pen. So what you speak is being written. Come on somebody. And so you've got to make sure you're writing the right things for your life. Amen? Amen? Be careful what you write with that tongue. Praise God. Because if you keep on speaking negative things, you're writing something down. I wish that I had somebody else to help me. You're writing down some things. The Bible says, here we see, praise God. In Psalms 45, what it says in the end, he said, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Come on, your tongue is a pen. Come on, somebody. What is your tongue? I uh, some, some people at the back in here. What is your tongue? Yes, yeah, so your tongue can write things. So if you're saying something, always remember from this night on, from this day on, always remember, I got to be careful what I'm saying because my tongue is writing it out. Come on, my tongue is writing it out. My tongue is writing it out. So I got to be careful what I'm saying because my tongue is like a ready pen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. So here we see, praise God. As we continue on faith, praise God. In Romans 10, 17, it says, faith comes by hearing and hearing what the word of God praise the Lord so how does faith come no come on how does faith come and hearing what faith comes by and hearing Romans 10 17 says faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God hallelujah Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. So, does faith come to you? Yes, faith comes. The Bible says, praise God, faith cometh. Faith comes to you. Praise God. But the way that faith comes to you is by hearing the word of God. Praise God. So, it's not going to come to you by tradition. Come on. It's not going to come to you by religion. Come on, somebody. It's not going to come to you by just merely how you dress or how you look. Faith comes by hearing over and over and over. You're hearing the word of God. Your mouth is a ready pen. Come on, somebody. Your mouth is a ready pen. And so, praise God, you got to speak those things that be not as though they were. Somebody praise them. 
as though they were. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that's the way it works. Praise God. So you need to put your pen to work. Some of you have some pen that the ink is run out. Come on. They have some things what you call refills. Come on. Come on. Sometimes the ink gets hard up in your pen. And when the ink is hard up, you start speaking negative things. Praise God. But when you have some ink flowing in your pen, in that little barrel, you got to write the right things with your mouth. You got to say the right things. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How many of you are excited about this word? How many of you are excited about this word? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you speak the words of the enemy, come on, stay focused. If you speak the words of the enemy, you are writing the words of the enemy. Come on, somebody. If you speak the words of the enemy, you are writing the words of the enemy. Amen? And so everything that you say, come on, guys, everything that you say, praise God, is important. Everything you say is being written down. You're writing your own destiny. My God, Bishop Leroy. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And so if you, keep, if you get up every morning and say, if you get up every morning and say, well, you know, today's going to be a bad day. What you just did, you just wrote down, today must be a bad day for me. Because you're speaking the words of the enemy. I wonder if, I'm, I wonder if some of you getting it. If, if, if you get up and you say those things, you are, actually, you are actually writing it down, scribing it. And so if you say, today, boy, I feel today is going to be a bad day for me. Then you know, you just took your tongue and write, today is going to be a bad day for me. So guess what? The enemy comes and pick it up and then he creates a bad day for you. How many are you excited? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. I'm excited about this word. Hallelujah. And so, praise God. You've got to be careful of what words you are writing with your mouth. Because guess what? The words of the enemy will be written on the table of your heart. Come on. The words of the enemy will be charted on the table of your heart. And if you think I'm joking, praise God. In Proverbs 7, 2 to 3, it says, just listen. Keep my commandments and live and my law as the apple of your eye buy them upon your fingers and write them write them upon the table of your heart praise God hallelujah and so you can write things on your heart by the words that you constantly speak up. oh praise God there's a lot of people defeated today because all they do is write the wrong things on the table of their hearts come on so you got to be careful what you're writing down from now. How many of you understanding this word tonight? Your words is like a pen. Praise God. Your mouth is a pen. Your tongue is a pen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The reason, the reason some people are so filled with fear, even in this pandemic, praise God, is that they believe everything they see and everything they hear. And because they believe it, they start to speak it. Come on, somebody. Uh, if you're not careful, everything that you see on the television, everything you hear on the media, everything you read, if you are not careful, you see it with your eyes and then guess what? You begin to speak it. Your, the, your tongue, which is a pen, begins to do what? Write it. Praise God. You know, you begin to write those things. So you got to be careful even what you're watching. There are some people that are so hooked on these little videos. You know, I, I, I'm telling you, it seems as if all some folks do is they go to bed, send in these little videos, see more things over and over and over and over. Some of you know what I'm talking about. I, I, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of it now. Is there anybody, you, you, you get, after a while you get tired of it. Is there anybody that want to raise your hands? You get tired of it. You get, you know, you get tired of it. The same old, same old crime and violence and blood and somebody on the ground lying down dead and people people are so people are so callous now uh, that, that that nobody has a human heart anymore people are so callous you know that, 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 that the bible says in the last days that man's heart would what wax 
coal. You, you know, it, it will wax coal. It will become so hard. And, and because of that, if you are not careful, you fall in love with the same little garbage that they're sending to you. And, and, and every time they send you these little videos, you're excited. And then you send it to 10 more. And then 10 more send it. I'm telling you, don't send me anything like that. I'm tired of it. I want to stay focused. Come on, somebody. I want to stay focused. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Time is too short for us to be so distracted every day. Come on, somebody. How many of you know there's a time and season for everything? Oh, some of you not saying anything. How many of you know there's a time and season for everything? Come on, somebody. You got to know when to mourn. You got to know when to have joy. You got to know when to come apart yourself. You got to know when to hang with the crew. And you got to know when to slip away. Come on, somebody. You got to know when to slip away. Uh, because the devil is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And you can't afford to let him devour you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so we say, praise God. Romans 10, 17. Praise God. Faith cometh by. And hearing. Clap yourselves, you're all smart students. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus himself said this about the last days. He said, men's heart, one of, one of Bishop's favorite. In Luke 21, 26, he says, men's heart failing them for fair. Right now, men's heart are failing them for fair because of fair. And for looking after those things which are coming to the earth. Your people are seeing all kinds of things. Come on, somebody. People's hearts are in fear. You got people that won't even go back to church because they're afraid that they're going to catch the coronavirus. And yet they say that there is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Yet they say that they believe in God, but they don't even have fear to, 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 to put their foot in the house of God. Come on, somebody. And fellowship with their brothers and sisters. They are full of fear. Praise God. And because of that, their tongues began to write all of this negativity. And the more that they write it, the page is getting full. Come on, somebody. If you keep on writing in a book, it's going to get full. Come on, somebody. You keep on writing, those lines are going to be filled up. And it's being filled with fear. Do you know what would happen if somebody would get up, if some of these folks would get up and shake themselves and say the same God of Daniel? My, my God, somebody. Say, oh, come on. You know what would happen if some people would get up and just decree and declare that the same God of Daniel is the same God today? Come on, somebody. And I have no fear. Come on, somebody. I have no fear. Do you know somebody would get up and say, in the name of Jesus, no corona come, come, can't come near my dwelling. Leave me. You get up and you talk about Psalms 91 and you're full of fear. Come on, somebody. We're not talking about using wisdom. We're talking, praise God, about trusting God also. In the midst, you got to be careful. Boy, I'm not going to church. I'm not going to church. I heard one man, I heard a gentleman on. I don't know if he's a real pastor, who he is. But he was on um, the other day. Praise God, I heard some today too. But there was a man on the other day. And he was saying, well, you know, you know, brethren, we got to trust God. We got to listen to the scientists. And we got to listen to this one. And we got to listen to this one. I'm saying, shut up. Listen also to Jesus. Listen to the word of God. Praise God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Can I get just 12 of you to clap your hands and open your mouth and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 My God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said man's heart are failing them for fear. For looking after those things which are hallelujah hallelujah jesus did not say men's heart will fail them because of the things which are on the earth he did not say that he said there it's failing them he said men's heart will fail them for fair after looking on all those things which are coming on the earth in other words what he's saying People are now worried. 
on the man. People are worrying. People are afraid. Come on, somebody. You got some people that they're so afraid that they won't even go on their porch. They're afraid that coronavirus could jump off the bush, jump out the bush, and jump on them. Come on. Some of you not saying anything. I hope that it's not none of you in here that's afraid like that. Come on, somebody. I remember I remember a couple weeks ago, a couple of um, weeks ago when this thing started. People were, were actually stripping their clothes and shoes off out at the road. They were, they, were, they were about ready to walk home naked because coronavirus was on the clothes. Well, where is the coronavirus? No, I don't see nobody doing that kind of thing. Come on, somebody. The Bible says men's heart would fail them. I wish that I had some. Men's heart would fail them for fear because of the things that they see coming on the earth. How many want to wave your hands? I love to worship the Lord. I love to praise the Lord. Come on, somebody. I love to praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I'm a worshiper. I love to praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, my friend. Uh, Jesus said they're going to be worrying. They're going to be fretting. A lot of people are going to be worrying about what's going to take place tomorrow. A lot of people are worrying about how the bills can be paid and, and worrying about how many of you know that God has not changed. It's time that I stand and say it. It's time that we stop being hypocrites in the church and stop acting just again like, like as if God has changed. God has not changed. He remains to my God. He remains to be the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. My God has not changed. Come on, Deaconess. I say God has not changed. He is the same God. Can I get somebody to give him some worship in here? He is the same God. He is the same God. Hallelujah. And if he could take care of me last year, he can take care of me this year, Brother Bailey. If he could take care of me in 2018, he can take care of me in 2020. Is there anybody that want to get up and just give God some praise? Is there anybody that, don't worry if your neighbor don't want to praise God. If the person beside you don't want to praise God. If the person beside you got to be looking all over the place and don't have any praise, that's all right. But if you come to praise your God, praise your God. Open your mouth and give God praise. He is the same God. He is the same God. Hallelujah. He's the same God. He has not changed. Just look at somebody and say he's the same God. Yeah, you don't have to touch him. Just say he's the same God. Can somebody shout it? He's the same God. He's the same God. Hallelujah. He is the same God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my God, I don't know why, but I'm just all pumped up. I'm indicting a great matter. I don't know about you, you might hear me preaching like this, but I'm indicting a great matter. There is something in the air. I'm decreeing and I'm the yes, my sister. Don't let nobody else steal your praise. If they don't want to praise God, that's all right. If they don't want to praise God, that's fine. Oh my God, but I'm indicting a good matter, a great matter. Is there anybody that want to praise him? Is there anybody that feel like you want to praise God? He's worthy to be praised. I'm indicting a good matter. Praise God. I, I might have to go through my valley, but I'm going to praise God through my valley. Praise God. Hallelujah. I might be going through some challenges, but I'm going to praise God during my challenges. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in this church here. I feel the Holy Ghost. There is a Holy Ghost praise in here. There is somebody sitting down on a praise. There is somebody sitting down on a praise. Somebody want to shout something to God and praise God. You better open your mouth. You can't afford, brother. You can't afford, brother, not to praise your God. Oh, glory to God. Through many danger, toils and snares. I don't know about you, but I've already come. And he remains to be the same yesterday and today. And he will be the same forevermore. My, 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 my tongue is a pen. My tongue is a ready pen, ready to write my destiny. Come on, somebody. I'm going to use my tongue. And I'm going to speak those things that be not. Those things that don't look like it's going to happen. Those things that don't look like it's working out. 
there are things that don't look like it's going to turn around. Uh, I'm going to use my tongue uh, and I'm going to write it. Uh, I'm going to sign a signature. Is there anybody in here? Is there? Oh my God. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 I feel like somebody's writing something. Uh, write somebody, something somebody, that somebody don't get look sensible. You're going to write something that don't look sensible. Have any sense, but it is real. It don't look right, but it's real. It's real. Come on, somebody. Oh, you don't see the you don't see where the money coming from to take care of those bills. But guess what? Write it. Uh, speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Somebody shout, speak it. Yeah, the word of God says in Psalms 45, 1, it says, My tongue. Somebody shout, my tongue. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. My tongue ready to write him. Oh, my tongue ready to write beautiful. Is there anybody in here that feel like something is about to come off of your tongue? Something is about to come off the tip of your tongue. Something is about to come off the tip of your tongue. Oh, come on somebody. Come on, get back your praise. Get back your praise. Oh, get back your praise. Come on, get back your praise. Oh, hallelujah. You need to start writing your destiny. Praise God, you need to start writing it. And if your neighbor don't want you to write you in business, get your own notebook. Get your own notepad. Stop borrowing other people's notepad. Come on, somebody. Come on, mama. Get your own notepad. Praise God. And when somebody say, you don't see what they're trying to do to you. You don't see how they're trying to take you down. You write and say, I shall not die. Sign, 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 sign. Sign it, sign it, sign it. I shall not die. Write it with your tongue. Write it with your tongue. Can somebody start right now? Can somebody take your finger? Take your finger. Write something. Write something out there. Write something. Your tongue is a pen. Your tongue is a pen. Your tongue is a pen. The Holy Ghost is in Clarendon. Your tongue is a pen. Write. God is raising up some scribes. I prophesy to you. Some of you are becoming scribes in the spirit realm. You got to be writing some things. You got to talk different. You got to stop speaking negative things and stop speaking the things of the enemy. Praise God. Yeah, you understand? Praise the Lord. You got to start writing differently. Because I'm telling you, if I wasn't writing some positive things in my life, if I wasn't writing some positive things over the years in my life, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be who I am today. Come on, somebody. If I wasn't writing some things. This scripture, this passage, praise God, has always been one of my favorite. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My heart is indicting a good matter. It's overflowing with joy. My heart is overflowing with some good things come on somebody praise God hallelujah all around it seems like hell is breaking loose but I'm indicting a good matter let me say that again I say all hell is around me but I is there anybody that heard this preacher I I don't know about you I don't know about you I don't know about you but I am indicting a good matter I'm not indicting a bad matter Come on, somebody. I'm indicting what? I can't hear some of you. I'm indicting what? Oh, if you're indicting a good matter, why don't you start moving your body and clapping your hands and open your mouth and say, I'm indicting, I'm indicting, I'm indicting, I'm indicting, I'm indicting, I'm indicting. A good, a good, a good matter. My God. Jesus, have mercy. My God, come on, deaconess. There is some of you that sit down and praise right now. There is some of you that want to praise God and the devil don't want your tongue to be said. Come on. Some of you keeping your mouth closed. When the Holy Ghost is saying, open your mouth and praise. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. There is a breakthrough praise in here. Forget about your only cute self. Forget about how cute you look. And give God a praise. Forget about your cuteness 
and your title praise God and, 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 and who you for and where you come from and where you drive it and where you live right what did I just say now there are some folks they are going to try to shut your mouth some boy just missed that there are some folks they are going to try to shut you up because they know that your tongue is a greater pain and so they know that if you start to write the right things they know that if you start to write the right thing things will start turning around for you let me come down I said they know that if you start writing with that tongue you got there the right thing say the right words they know that the God you serve praise God is gonna make sure that that ink don't run out there is some faces I'm looking at and I can see on your faces that you ready to write you ready to write come on somebody you ready to write but there are some folks that will try to stop you from opening your mouth and writing your destiny come on somebody there are some folks that will try to make you believe you are not good enough to write but if you know that you have something on your tongue you know I always tell people I always tell people all the time when you stay authentic when you remain yourself you'll be more effective praise God hallelujah oh I could come here and start twanging oh, come on hallelujah hallelujah that's not how I talk I'm gonna be myself come on because when you're yourself you're more anointed more effective I don't have to come in and twang well, you know hallelujah come on praise praise the Lord come on praise the Lord come on no 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 you ain't getting away like that be yourself be yourself come on be yourself when you yourself praise God you write in your your authentic self is writing something but when you start to be somebody else or trying to talk like somebody else you are not gonna go nowhere because your signature is fraud come on somebody do not fraud anybody's signature write your own signature come on come on come on brethren write your own signature create your own signature be unique come on look at somebody and say I'm unique <laughs> Jesus have mercy what a powerful service we have in it my God come on you're not saying that I, I say you're not saying I'm unique nah, hallelujah hallelujah glory hallelujah praise God so when Jesus said when Jesus said men's heart are failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth he wasn't talking about heart attacks he wasn't talking about people having no heart attack Jesus wasn't talking about the natural heart praise God there is no way I can find a word where Jesus ever talked about the physical heart he's talking about the spiritual part of man the human spirit he's talking about that soil where the word should be that he has put in you he's talking about that place where the kingdom of God abides praise God there are many today who are worried and perplexed over many things some have even created situations for themselves because of worrying some people are so worried and anxious that they are creating some things for themselves that is not the will of God for them you know how many people today are suffering because they wouldn't stop talking about suffering until they're suffering come on somebody come on why are you all quiet on me come on Jesus is saying that the kingdom the kingdom in the heart of man will fail them the faith in the heart of man will fail them praise God to function properly your spirit will begin to lose your joy and the love for God and the seal for God and the things of God because of the cares of this world 
you begin to worry over every little thing come on somebody you begin to worry as I always say don't get me wrong you've got some people that are so afraid that they're sleeping in mass some of you are not saying that they are, they are fast asleep in mass because they're afraid that corona's hiding in the closet and when they go on to bed that corona got tiptoe that corona got come out tiptoeing and say, I get you I get you fast asleep and then when they, get, then when they turn over in the night they say they can't breathe. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Take the mask. Oh. And catch some fresh air. Give the Lord a clap. Catch some fresh air. Catch some fresh air. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. How many you want to thank God? Remember we're talking about our mouth, our tongue being a red pen. How many you want to thank God for life? Oh, so For life. <laughs> I like that somebody said something thank him because none of us deserve to be here and I, mean, I don't care how nice I don't care how nice you look I don't care how the pearls are dangling and how the high heel is is, is moving in the bags is matching none of us deserve to be here but it's because of his grace. It's because of his grace and his mercy towards you and I while we are while we are here. And you see, as long as we got life, use that tongue and write the right things. Write the right things. There's some of you that's about to get a breakthrough. Because you're going to start writing differently. Is there anybody that want to wave your hands and praise him now? Come on, wave them. Come on, get rid of missionary. Get rid of deaconess. Get rid of minister. Get rid of brethren. Get rid of. Get rid of. Come on, get rid of pedal. Get rid of. Get rid of. Come on, get rid of. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Come here, Brother Roy. Come here. Come here, Brother Roy. Praise the Lord. Roy, come here. Just stand right there. Just stand right there. No, just come up a little closer. Praise God. When last you held a, a phone in your hand that is for you how long about how long since you held us a, 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 a cell phone that you didn't borrow to make a call or you didn't ask somebody to lend you how long have you held one that is yours that you put that in your pocket you go home and you charge how long since you held one for yourself you you you, you said what couldn't tell you, when. you couldn't tell when but do you believe that God is about to bless you with a phone? Huh? Well, believe it or not, at the end of the service, tonight is your night because I'm going to bless you with a phone. I'm going to bless you with a phone, brother. Ross, so you can go back and sit down. Praise the Lord. Oh, he's in shock. I'm going to bless you with a phone. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Hope of a pushy. Somebody want to get on your feet and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Roy, you gotta get some calls soon, right? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
You know, I always, I always see Brother Roy come in and if he wanted to call Bishop or myself, he would have to go through Sister Pedal or somebody else. And I said, you know what? I have an extra phone. And I'm just gonna, I'm blessing him with sim and all. Come on, pray it on it and all. I put, I pray this is already on the phone. Right? We're just gonna bless him with it. Amen. So that he can call his bishop or call his apostle or whoever calls somebody else. Amen. And you know what? Brother Roy is not really fully employed all the way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's not fully employed. So now and again, Sister Pedal, praise God. Now and again, put a little something on our phone for him. Somebody bless with a little credit. This is what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Now I don't want nobody to feel sometimes let me say something here. <laughs> sometimes you know <laughs> the mother might say, well, brother Roy, just come. And I've been here a long time and Bishop never gave me a phone. But guess what? Let the Lord Come on, have his way. Come on, somebody. Let the Lord. Let the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Just look at somebody and say, so the plan set. Today might be for Brother Roy. You never know. Next day might be for you. Be glad for a brother. Be glad for a sister. What we say, take your tongue and write. If Brother Roy never took his tongue and write, a couple of weeks ago when I was here, if Brother Roy never came up to me and said, Woman of God, Bishop, I don't have a little phone. I would have walked all you sometime, but I don't have a little phone. But I know God, God bless me with one. He took his mouth and wrote something. Brother Roy spoke those things that be not. And he spoke it as if he knew that something would come one day. How many of you see the example here tonight? How many of you want to praise him? How many of you want to praise him? Okay, I can't hear you. How many of you want to praise him? I'm, get, I'm getting ready to come down. I'm getting ready to come down. How many of you want to praise him? How many want to say, I'm next in line, I'm in line, I'm in line, I'm in line for a miracle. I'm in line for a miracle. Come on, I'm in line, I'm in line, I'm in line for a miracle. Praise the Lord. How many you can take your tongue and start decreeing and declaring? You understand? Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me say something. When God gets ready to bless you, and ain't no demon from the pit of hell can stop you. When God get ready to bless you. Stand brother Bailey. The Lord said I should bless you with a credit for your phone. I'm going to put some credit. I'm going to give you something to go and get some credit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mother Rob you have a phone? Come on stand. I'm going to bless you with some credit. Come on. I'm looking out for the elderly tonight. The elderly tonight. The elderly tonight. How many of you know we must look out for the elderly? Come on, come on. Get, how many of you are excited in this church? Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Tonight is what we call, tonight is what we call phone credit night. Praise the Lord. Bishop wants some credit too, somebody else. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How many of you are excited about God? Hallelujah. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want you to look at somebody and say, you could be next. Come on, say with authority. No, you're not saying nothing. You're not saying nothing. You're not saying nothing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you're next. Hallelujah. Jesus, what, a, what an anointing is flowing here tonight. 
Hallelujah. I like what you're saying, Minister. He, he, I'm next. I'm next. I'm next. Praise God. You can take it away from somebody. Uh, you got you to press your way through now. I'm, I'm next. Now. I'm next. I'm next. I'm going to write that down when I'm next in line. Oh, come on, Sister Gab. I, mean, I don't know about you, but I'm next. Is there anybody that want to get up on your feet and have an attitude? With an attitude, I am next in line. And you ain't going to take my blessing. You can't take my blessing. You can't take my blessing. I'm next. I'm next. I'm next in line for a miracle. I'm next in line for a blessing. Hallelujah. Come on. You can't take this. D, you need to tell somebody. You can't have my blessing. I am writing something with my tongue. Praise God. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not below. Who God bless. Who God bless. Now give him a praise, attitude praise. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. A good report is coming. I said a good report is coming. I'm indicting a good matter. Come on. Delayed but not denied. I say your house might be delayed. Let me sound it in the community. Your house might be delayed, but not denied. Come on, somebody. How many of you know that you will not beg bread? I will not suffer. And I will not beg for bread. Hallelujah. Praise God. God said to tell somebody, I'm getting ready to prepare a table. I'm getting ready to prepare a table before you in the presence, in the presence of my enemies. God said, God said, I have not forgotten you. I have not forgotten you. He knows your name. Is there anybody say he knows my name? He knows my name. He knows my name. And he's getting ready to prepare a table. Not in when you get to heaven. But he said I'm preparing a table. Right here on earth. In the presence. Your enemies going to see you. They going to have to stop and look at you. They going to have to wonder if it's you. And then you can wave your hand saying, me see one. I am the, I, it is me, it is me. It is me. Is there anybody here? I'm the same one. I'm the same one that you were trying to kill. My God. I'm the same. Do we have anybody that is in the war in spirit tonight? I'm the same one you were trying to destroy. I'm the, come up with an attitude. I'm the same one you were trying to take out. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, tell someone. I'm the same one. It's not my neighbor. It's not my neighbor, it's me. Yeah, I know I look different. I know that I dress different now. But it's me. I know that I'm walking different. Because of all of what you did to try to take me out, it's me. It's me seeing one. I know where you went. To think that you could stop me but it's me same one I'm still here is there anybody that want to say I'm still here yeah I know I know you don't want to see me but I'm still here I know you don't want me to talk but I'm still here I know you don't want me to praise God but I'm still here hallelujah I know you don't like to see me when I shout but I'm still here is there anybody want to go with an attitude and tell somebody I am still here and I ain't going nowhere until God said I must go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still, we still there. We're still the boat. Girl, we're not going nowhere. We're not going nowhere. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Is there, oh my God, what a, what a night. What a night in this community. Oh my God, what a night. Somebody want to shout hallelujah in here. Somebody want to shout Hallelujah. 
Glory be to God. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you all a moment. The Holy Spirit said I should just give you guys a moment to just open your mouth and praise Him for yourself. Come on, just turn around and just praise. Let's face the camera. Let somebody see you praising God. Come on, let somebody see you. Let somebody hear you. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I, know, I know you don't want me praise them. I know that you're looking at me. I know that you're looking at me. You're remembering my past. You're remembering my past. All you can do is remember my past. But I'm going to praise my God. Hallelujah. I'm going to praise my God. Hallelujah. I'm going to praise my God. Hallelujah. Somebody want to say something else. I'm next, I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm next. Excuse me. Excuse me, make me pass. Excuse me, get out of my way and let me praise my God. Oh my God. Some of you too, some of you too stylish. Some of you too stylish. Some of you too cute. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's such an anointing in this house. Oh my God. Healing is taking place. Come on and praise him now as I close. I say healing is taking place right now. Depression is leaving. Depression, depression. Depression is leaving. Praise God. Yeah, just control yourself. Just look out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. The fire of God, the presence of God is here to loose and to set captives free. We break every chain tonight. I hear chains falling. I said I hear chains falling. Come on somebody. I said I hear chains falling. Break every chain here tonight in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I wish I had two of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Break every chain here tonight. Loose everything here tonight. We dismantle every padlock. We dismantle every padlock. I say we pop off every padlock. We pop off every padlock. Come on, broke it off. Get in the spirit and broke off every padlock. We broke off a loose tonight in the name of Jesus. We unlock every door tonight. Oh, that has been locked with your blessing and your miracle. We lock it and we unlock it tonight in the name of Jesus. Can somebody say loose? Come on, somebody shout loose it. Some of you too stylish. You need to get aggressive like the man of God. You need to say loose it. Loose it, man. Release it. In the cut and loose. Cut and loose. Cut and loose in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Touching Jesus is all. Come on, let's sing it. That really matters. Yes. I know your life will never be the same. Come on. There is only one way to touch it. Come on, we're getting ready to close right now. Just believe. Come on. When you call on his name. Sing it, everybody, with your hands raised. Touching Jesus. Is all that really matters. Come on, let him touch you now. You're next in line. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself. 
and your life, your life, your life, your life. Never be Come on, your life won't be the same. The same. No, 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 it could never be the same. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. There is only, there is only one, one way. One way. Him. There is only one way to touch him. Just, Just believe, believe when you call on Hallelujah, his hallelujah. Name. Oh, reach out, reach out, reach out now. Reach out and touch the Lord. God, you will find loose. He's not, not to be seen. To hear Come on, give your testimony. Those of you on social media, wherever you are, give your testimony. Come on, testify. Testify. If this word has touched you, if this word has touched you, you're next in line for your miracle. But you gotta reach out in faith, in faith, in faith. I surrender all, all to Jesus. You gotta give up everything now. Give up the worrying. Give up the worrying. Loose, 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 loose. Come on, come on, let it go. Somebody shout, let it go. Somebody shout, let it go. Let it go. The Holy Spirit said, let it go. And trust Come on, surrender everything to him now. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, I surrender. I surrender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let that thing go. Let that problem go. Hallelujah. I surrender. Hallelujah. Let it go. Let it go. Forget about everything. Forget about the hurt. Forget about what they said about you, what they did to you, what they're doing. God is fighting for you. God said, take your hands off. Let it go. Surrender. Surrender. Give it to me, says God. I surrender all. One more time for somebody right now. Hallelujah. I surrender. Let it go. Let it drop it. Come on, release it. Take your hands off of it. Start praising God, man. Come on, sing it. Sing it with joy. Sing it with excitement. Oh, sing it with a smile on your face. Everybody smile. Come on, sing it with a smile. Sing it with a smile. Come on, smile, smile. Come on, smile. Come on, smile. Smile, brothers and sisters. Some of you afraid to smile. Just smile for joy. Hallelujah, I surrender. Hallelujah. tonight praise the Lord glory be to God hallelujah thank you Jesus raise your hands everybody
everybody just started to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for looking beyond my faults and seeing my needs. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that I can still write and that my tongue is a pen ready to write my destiny. In Jesus' name. Now give him a crazy praise, a final crazy praise. Come on, open your mouth. And... Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him, praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. God bless all of you. I'm going to ask you a small favor. Praise God. Nobody see. Just remain standing. I'm going to ask you if you would just turn on your notifications. Follow me. Like me. Leave your testimonies, your prayer requests. There are some of you right now that the Lord is saying, praise God. That once you put your prayer requests there, we are going to pray over that. We're going to come in agreement with you. Because when we pray... No, no, sir, not what you say. And when we pray, something must happen. That's right. Something must happen when we pray. Because we believe, praise God. Hallelujah. That when we pray, God hears us. So I want to say, God bless you. Give the Lord a clap. God bless you. Shalom until next time.